Good evening, y'all. We've got ourselves a Game 5 in the Summit 2 by G2A.com China Division. LGD, Vici Gaming, neck and neck, and it's Vici Gaming with all the momentum right now, LD. Yeah, it's after that game. That's for damn sure. Jesus, dude. Yeah. L LGD, like, it's one thing just to lose a game, like, oh, sh crap, we got out drafted, or we just fed three kills at level one. Like, you don't really think about that too much, but when you have a game in the bag, all you have to do is just not fuck up, and you screw up colossally. I don't know. How, is, like, how do you not tilt like from Vici that? Like, Vici definitely, hats off to them, they played well, though. Some really nice RPs, and Black played an amazing oh, broker, yeah. but they're in a position where 9 times out of 10, or even more than that, LGD should win that game. I would say, like, 98 out of 100, they win that game, if they just chill. Either hit that, for example, when oh, they push mid. They hit that push. Ravage, they win oh, it. If they gosh. just don't Ravage or go for it, they win. Yeah. The only way they lose that is going for the Ravage and whiffing. They just had but to they whiffed it and get really Raxes. Lost. Yeah. Oh, by I don't know. We got we got a game five draft though. I'm I'm gonna go lose hairs over that last game. Not even an LG. Well, not even a fan. Like I don't even <laughs> mind which of these teams qualifies. They're both great teams, and they're both uh, teams which I love to watch. But it's just painful seeing those games where a team it comes so close and then just makes a few. Uh, will it haunt them? Mistakes. You know, it was uh, it was kind of reminiscent of game number three for the first departure versus invasion series where. Invasion had won the series, basically, at that point. They were up 2-0. They had taken a full lane of Rax. Uh, it was either a Razor or a Death Prophet. They had some great pushing here, right? It just destroys building. Oh, it was a Death Prophet. All they had... Oh, no, it was a Razor. All they had to do was chill, take the Rax, and back. They had a tie with the Refresher. He refreshes. They've already taken the Rax. They go yeah. back in with the second Ravage. Don't kill oh. the Ember who's bought back. Like, they wanted to win right then. They didn't need to. They could have just backed off, still at Aegis. Instead, they get end up getting wiped. They lose their Aegis. Then the game falls apart. This game kind of reminds me of that, where it's like you had the Series 1 with the 2-0 lead or the 2-1 lead, and maybe right. it slips away, but still got to play Game 5. So let's see if LGD can uh, show a little more They say, backbone. wham, bam, I'm going for a Naga Siren. This is, I, honestly, like you have a game like that where, let's say, they choke. And you yeah. win a Game 5, you want to say, look, let's forget about Let's just play a different style that we're comfortable with. Silas says, in my Naga Siren we trust. I, I kind of like this approach to a game five. Uh, yeah, it's not my it's not my absolute favorite here on Dota, but Siler plays it extremely well, and it's been very solid for them. Yeah. So I think as far as just taking the pressure off, I mean, Silo happy to maybe say, look, I'm going to make, I'm going to, I mean, he delivers. This guy has definitely been the, probably the most consistently high-performing player of this team, and it just makes it a lot easier for the supporting cast when they know that have that backup plan, even if they fall behind early, things aren't all over. For Vici Gaming, though, Skyrath, Ember Spirit, they've been going for the first two pick invoke of the last couple of games. This time around, though, they take a different approach. Ember Spirit, yeah, not bad against the Naga, I guess. Like, obviously, the, the Battle Fury is good against Illusions if they're grouped up, but Naga often sends those Illusions different directions. So, we'll see what the plan's going to be instead for uh, the Vici gaming side, as far as dealing with this Naga Siren's concerned. Yeah, as far as solutions to Naga, we've seen... Some teams just run really aggressive pushing strats, but Death Prophet's banned. Razor doesn't seem to be much of an interest for these teams. Uh, there's always a potential for like that pocket Pugna pick. I, I actually really like Pugna against Naga. As mentioned, the first of all, he pushes hard, which puts pressure on her to join fights. And secondly, that, that Ag's upgrade really shuts her illusions down in fights. So I don't think it's like Pugna directly counters Naga, but it's just a good hero in general versus her. And... Yeah. I wonder if Vici would go for it. They already have the Skyrath Ember. It would leave them very light on teamfight and stun, so they'd have to back it up with something big mm -hmm. for the last two. But uh, Yeah, I mean, out short of that, other options, you can just go for like your Silencer Doom combo, just try and completely shut her down. Also, so it doesn't seem to be something that Vici Gaming like to do. Other, other than that, I guess you just have to outplay them. Yeah, yeah both the teams do like Doom, which is still in the pool. Neither team actually has their offlaner for once. So normally we're seeing these offlaners picked up in like the opening two, like you go for your center Skyrath mage or your Tide Hunter plus one. Tide was banned out in the second stage though, so no early Tide picks. It's been a pretty influential hero throughout this series and 
we'll have to see what the teams go for with both Centaur, uh, probably the big offlaner left in this pool. Um, Doom as well, which has actually seen more play than the uh, Centaur this series. LGD for now though, get the Marana, which is almost guaranteed to be a support Marana. Um, look towards those just early rotations. Arrows being fired at mid lane, just to help create some space for the Naga Siren to get slightly easier farm. Yeah, Marana, an X Factor. Yeah. This was what LDTR used in the uh, Invasion series. We've seen Puppy just win games first team with this. Yep. Same has happened for a lot of those top Marana players, but it is kind of a it's a somewhat boom or bust support. Moonlight Shadow is okay later on, but good teams will generally have sentries and gems. Rarely nowadays do we see like a Moonlight Shadow gank win a team the game. So I wonder if Ichigo was tiny just straight up again. Like it worked, it worked that game. I guess it, I mean it, it kind of worked that game, <laughs> as far as they ended up winning the game. But the, the start wasn't as good as they would have liked. Well, I do like this. They'll grab the Enigma here. They get a really long duration ultimate. Some good push power, and they know. That, well, LGD could go a bit aggressive here at this Ogre Marana, but they're not really going to be trying to force anything beyond kills early. So yeah. Enigma will at some point just get his farm in the jungle and gives them a little more of a late game option. A fairly instant stun if you blink Black Hole to try and lock down that Naga. So. Yeah. And when he has, when Enigma gets the mech up, then you can start taking towers in. That that time nicely, normally around the time Ember Spirit is ready to start fighting as well. So. And I gotta say, God's LGD looking a little light on the D push outside of that Naga. Yeah. Ignite is eh. Star Storm is pretty bad. And if you want, you could maybe even pick up that Pugna. I still think it's a possibility here for Vici. Yeah. I think getting here is that kind of shine around the 15 minute mark when they'll have the Enigma with Soaring Mech, Ember Spirit with maybe Phase Drums, Magic Wand, and like a level 10 already. About that stage where Ember Spirit's good to fight. And Pugna kind of comes online at a similar time. Like you hit that level 7, level 8, you start getting a few points in your, your Pugna Ward. Like that could be pretty potent push as far as something that LGD struggle to deal with. They need some kind of counter pushes with these last two picks, which. Not sure what. Um, that's not doing. counter push. It's. It's not it's it's not bad I mean it's not the worst kind of push. Like Scorch Earth is actually surprisingly good at drawing aggro off towers, but Yeah, it's for the early push, game. Yeah. But like I'm more talking if Ichi wanna go for that yep. Pugna Razor or something like that. Okay. That that could actually be Razor's pretty good against Doom as well. <laughs> oh okay. Well right. that's the totally other direction, that's so yeah, you can just try not late game the Naga. Well, it also also pushes too, I guess. Like around around the time where Enigma and Ember Spirit can fight and push Terrorblade with just Metamorph and That's a true. couple illusions, he brings down towers and and no it actually helped do more than the Naga. She's going Radiance build. She won't really offer much. My one worry for LGD is Song doesn't really. S what's your Song synergy here? Song into Arrow. That's it. It's pretty underwhelming. Yeah. Generally, when Naga picks, really excels when they. They just fit around the rest of the team well. So, like, you song to set up a black hole or some sort of AoE, or you've got other great split pushers that can abuse the song to, you know, take objectives. But we're not really seeing that. LGD will ban out the Lions, so they, they remove the pesky mana drain to kill off illusions, the instant hex to destroy the Naga, and just a, a great support hero for lockdown in general. Yeah. So, I, I think that's a very and Vici, suitable band. Ice Ice Ice, one of the few players who run that core Enigma, so they could theoretically go for another support. That's true. That's a very most good teams, Most teams, like nine teams out of ten, would be like, yeah, okay, you got an Enigma, it's going to be jungle, let's ban another core. But, cause it it's Ice Ice could Ice also Ice. be Fenrir. He used to play a lot more jungle. We haven't seen too much lately, but it is an option. Yeah. So, we'll see what the plan will be. LGD, they need most likely that Yao hero. I think, like, a. And Quaswex Invoker could be alright this game as far as creating space for Naga. Like, there's enough late game and damage output from Doom Doom plus Naga that I don't think you'd need an Exord Invoker, but I think Quaswex Invoker is pretty solid. Um, other, other than that, I think you need something kind of just tempo controlling and also something that's good against the Terror Blade, which Quaswex Invoker isn't bad against. You can burn his mana, prevent that Sunder from coming out, at least until he gets that level 3 Sunder. Yeah, Sunder... Could be, well, I mean, I, I guess the good thing about picking Terrorblade here is you're also up against Doom, so now it's a slight who do you Doom question. Terrorblade, Ember, maybe even Enigma, so. Yeah. I, I like it, and I was going to say, well, you can't Sunder when you're Doom, but yeah, I, I think given that there's three potential targets that it's yeah. slight concern for LGD. That's where, like, I mean, the song, Mirana Arrow from the song isn't, like, the biggest combo of all, but that's something which effectively could mean you don't have to Doom someone like an Ember Spirit in a fight. You can get the kill on the Ember Spirit using the song into Arrow and then Doom someone else. So, five second Arrow to actually in a team fight with a song could be 
Uh, quite an important way for LGD to actually stand Storm a chance at all to win a team fight. And LGD will be the ones to go for that Storm. All right, so they get a natural Orchid carrier. Just that silence very nice against the Ember. Yeah, this is a great hero for catching Terrorblade. Especially if he's just being cheesy and just split pushing with illusions while keeping his hero far back. You can jump past and try find the real Terrorblade. They could even pull... Well, could they? Hmm... I'm, I was wondering, could they maybe pull a switch for and not actually run a core Naga and just try and somehow punish Vichy for that? Like, you, I guess you could run core Ogre. I don't think you run Marana as a core, given that you would have two melee supports, but I, I kind of like doubt LGD will do I feel like they're most confident in the Silo Naga. So who's going to play Storm, then, if he plays it? Yao, I think. Yao Storm? Yeah. Vichy Gaming are going to try the Zombie Knight thing again. It's... I like Could it be very than, good with Terrorblade. Yeah, I like it a lot better this game than the, the earlier game we saw in Game 1. Like, with the Terrorblade, um, a lot nicer. And it's another Doom target, and there's just, like, too many for Doom to decide upon. That's Doom, point. yeah, that's Doom number 4. Yep. <laughs> okay, he needs a Refresher, now he needs the... What's that hero? The, uh... The one that makes clones of himself, the new one in Dota 1? Zet? Yeah, it's he needs an Arc Warden yep. ability as well, so he can have Quadruple Doom. <laughs> it's not happening, dude. <laughs> Oh. By the way, that's going to be Arteezy's new favorite hero. He just when needs it comes this Dibby ability draft so he could get Meepo ultimate as well as Doom. <laughs> so he can have two ultimates. I don't know how that's happening, but <laughs> this is ability draft. Anything's yeah. possible. Yeah, anything is possible. And anything is possible for these teams is it is going to be the support Naga gods. MMY picking that nice. one up. So it is the switcheroo. All right. All right. Uh, this Yamara. could catch Vichy a bit off guard. I'm, I'm really surprised. I'm, I'm surprised. Vichy Gaming, I imagine, are pretty surprised, but. Unless they want to really make the viewers happy and give MMY that storm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, LGD. MMY, he's, he's been pretty adamant that he doesn't want to play mid. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't want to, but the viewers want to see it. Okay. Think of the viewers, MMY. Oh, you have yeah. so many fans. This match doesn't matter. It's just, MMY, it's just I, gotta, game five I, of I love the guy finals. as a player, but I got to say, I don't think he cares as much about the fans as some players. No, he was, not at all. He was not interested in going to the viewing party when he's here. In general, he's just a very reserved guy, not big on the interviews, and nobody can fault him for that. But it's right. got some good feathery Naga Siren cosmetics. Surely in a Nuxi set. Big shout out to Steph, who I think I saw her tweeting. She's watching, but uh, Beachy Gaming going to start with a pause, and looks like I don't know what's going on here. Just trolling the viewers. They're anxious yeah, to see this okay. game five decider. Not going to happen. Yep, MMY says, I won't give you guys interviews. I won't give All you right. guys a game five R decider. Run, run the ad for the chest. Let's let's get some real sellout action. <laughs> 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 All right. Now, be, be on the shekel. <laughs> oh, you're actually <laughs> running it. <laughs> well, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> nah. We need, but, uh, we need our shekels here. One thing I... Uh, yeah, you'll call it a sellout, but I do want to remind everyone, um, we still have the the redemption vote going. Oh, yeah. So for those... A lot of you already bought Compendium, so... Um, or bought the ticket through the marketplace. So thanks for supporting the tournament. Um, if you if you want to vote for the redemption team, guys, just open your Compendium. There's a simple form to fill out. Do not vote for teams already qualified. Are we a lot of voters casters? I feel like we probably can't. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I filled mine out with the Balkan Bears as number one, but sadly I don't think they're going to win the vote. Wow, that that LD bias. Dude, they've got a badass name. Balkan, Balkan Bears Corleone. Come on. You, We made a video out of that. Our video is promoting the fact you should vote for the Balkan Bears. Like, I'm... Well, There's something I, fishy going on here. Yeah, I think I had Winter at number three because he's my friend. Oh, so yeah. I had Johnny's <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, we only have a very few votes. Is Ara Gaming in the votes? Can I vote for them? <laughs> I think we... They actually were in the like the 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 draft list. And then we're like, hey, Matt, you got to remove the teams. Oh, and he's like, oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> he actually was asking right. us if, if uh, there was anyone else to remove. But, yeah. Let's no 322 gaming here at the Summit Land Finals. We we'll get things underway here. LGD on the radiant side, tied two apiece. And after a 2-0 lead, they're back even. It's going to be MMY playing the support Naga Siren. Yao on the Marana, Faith on the Ogre. It's another offensive trial, and LGD's had great success with these throughout uh, this tournament as well as other ones. Silo going to be mid lane on the Storm, and that puts in July safe lane on the Doom against an Enigma. Okay. All right, and. As for, you just did uh, LGD, LGD, right? Yeah. Yep. So Vici Gaming, we've got FY playing your Omni Knight that puts Super onto his Ember. He'll have the support of the Omni at his side. The power of Omniscience. Fenrir on your Skyrath Mage support. 
Black going mid is that Terror Blade, and that will leave in the off lane. Ice Ice Ice. He will be a core Enigma. One of the only teams that do this. Yeah, so he's going to do pretty well against Doom. Uh, Doom's going to hope for... He may start by grabbing a creep here before he goes to lane. His medium camp seems blocked off, so hope maybe for a wild wing for some extra armor or a safety for the HP regen. You know, guys, I'm looking at this LGD trilane. I'm not sure how good this is actually going to be. Yeah. You've got Omni here. As long as he just skills repel. They were hoping the Terra Blade was coming top. I think that's the big thing here. And oh, Angel Eye gets the Wild Wing. That's nice. Plus three armor. It's going to help a lot against Edel and Harass. Yeah, and while they're busy trying to look for their arrow setup, they will be taking a, a pounding, of course, from this support Skyrath mage. So, yeah, keep your eyes on FY. He's gone for the heal first, but he'll be skilling up that repel at level two unless he's just hates super and wants him to die, which I don't think he does. They're going to go in early. Arrow ah, going to go through the creep wave. Find super somehow. FY, where are you? Purification was on cooldown. MMY helps get the kill. He may go down for this one, but they got first blood on the Murano of all heroes as well. FY still looking to do do some damage. Has a purification, but he's going to hold on to the mana. So first blood goes LGD's way. Yeah, not the end of the world since they get the counter kill, and it's very early, so it doesn't really hurt super too badly, but it's still good for LGD here, getting that first blood, and... In good news, Enigma should be able to dominate the Doom, though for now it's 3-3 three, three to 4-0, oh, so not that convincing, but no. uh, your mid lane going to go the Storm's way whenever that Metamorphosis is on cooldown, as you can see Silar just punishing Black every time he yeah. comes near the creep wave. So if they lose this top lane, I think they're going to end up losing two lanes, gods. Yeah, I think Black's playing this right. He already used the Metamorph like as soon as the creep's met, and I think he's just going to spam this to help him last hit and at least do an okay job mid lane. Chains. Oh. Level 1 I look like, so... Other better. thing to mention is that Vici Gaming are ex much stronger at like level 2 through 5 than they're at level 1. Yeah. As they didn't have Repel yet, the Skyrath doesn't have a Silence or Concussive Shot. Uh, well, now he does, but he didn't before. They're gonna stun him to start! Arrow coming through, Super will tank that at close range. Now your heal to turn this fight around. MMY underestimating the power of the Omni Knight, and now they'll get that kill. Nice right back in it. Two to one, your score. Blocks the arrow and also just gets nice and close. It was like a one second arrow at most. Didn't even need to really repel it off or anything. So, yeah, that's going to help him out a lot. Siler at mid gets a DD rune. So, if Black wasn't having a rough enough time already, well, throw Siler a DD and stuff gets even harder for him. And the issue with this tri lane top is that they're running double melee supports against an Omni Knight and an Ember. So, you walk in, you get heal bombed, the Flame Guard starts pounding into you, and you're li almost guaranteed to get chained. It's. It's one of the reasons, I mean, not the only by any means, but one of the reasons why we generally don't see two melee supports. Normally it's at most one. The one thing there where LGD can kind of do well this turn, I think if they just calm down, don't give up more kills, is they can't gank Storm. Storm in game one, although it did end up winning the game for Sila, he got ganked a lot and had a really rough time. But this time around, supports will be kept busy sitting at this top lane. If they leave, people will die. So Sila should have a great time, get his level six, and then he can gank top lane and help turn this tri lane versus tri lane around. Nice, nice, nice at the bottom lane. Has got his bastering up now. He's level 4, so we'll see him maybe fly out some soaring pieces 12 fairly denies. soon. And Doom's yeah. still doing... I mean, you deny a lot, but he's still solo, so he's still getting good experience here. He's actually ahead of experience with the help of the Devourer on the, the Wild Wing earlier. So. Ah, yeah, it's a, and that's the other thing. Is no matter how much you deny him, he's always can just walk in, get a huge big creep instantly, and a lot of experience from that. Black's gone for the bottle as a mid Terra Blade, so... Not your standard item, but he is mid, of course, so... Nothing too crazy, and his metamor second metamorph for the game will end. And yeah, some Storm has quite good burst. If they bring one hero to the Storm, I think they can kill this Terra Blade soon. Once he gets level 6. Yeah. If he gets the right rune, which is uh, decently likely. Way. So this will help him actually if he's going to get ganked out here. And they have rotated that support off the top lane at the same time. So too have Vici Gaming. Fenrir went towards mid, he's going to rotate back to top. Yeah, so far, the combi for the Storm. Both of these teams extremely level dependent. You need your Doom, your Storm ult. Uh, Naga just needs a lot of farm more than anything. And as for Vici, Omni, of course, level dependent. Ember needs a lot. I don't think we'll see a super bloody game until like that 10 to 15 minute mark. Concussive shot on face to start things off. Turns around, throws a stun here. And I think LGD just need to try and disengage. Leap back to the tower. MMY, though, still in a bit of a tough spot, but close enough that he's... No mana for chains. I, he might need to send a bottle out here. Faith is still split up from his team, which is kind of awkward when you're up against a slightly stronger tri -line. You need to try and stick next to them, otherwise you do run the risk of being caught out. Well, it creeps at the tower, but yeah, in general, that's certainly true. So Storm's level 6. He hasn't got 
the best mana pool right now. He's ha below half mana, so maybe around the six minute rune he'll go top for the six minute rune and try and find a gank off of that. But actually, it's Yao making his way towards mid. This is your Cormorana going for an early gank with the arrow. If he lands this black, is definitely dead. He's gonna get Sunder from this last creep if he wants to skill it, and he has that Invis rune. They have to chain stun him. I think the observer one for the die team should have spotted these heroes going off the lane. He has not spent his skill point yet. Black, I think. Trying to figure out if he's going to need Sunder. Yeah, it doesn't have mana. It's 200 mana cost. It's so Yeah, heavy. he could blow the bottle charges to get mana, but th he wants to save this Invisor. An arrow has a fish. That'll be wildly off the mark. Yeah. Expected Black to back, but they he, couldn't he runs forward. Could have gone for a pull there, but they weren't going to burst him down before he pops the Invisor. And that's really where this Invisor is really nice for Black. It means unless he gets hit by a long five-second arrow, he's going to get a chance to pop the Invis and survive the game. They should really try to get a ward that spots rotations, because the one ward right here is... It's oh, it's okay. It's about to expire, and yep. it doesn't really spot up the the rune so much. Yeah, and Storm gets a haste. So by the time they'll see Storm in a second with this war, but it may be too late. In July also. Now? Oh no, he doesn't actually. Have okay, a, they'll back off in time. They don't have a TP on their Doom, but he is level six. He may want to pick one up. I'd love to see like Storm pick up a TP and TP bottom, because that Enigma would be a very easy kill with Doom plus a Storm zip in. Oh yeah, just zip pull and he's dead. He could easily fly one out with like his magic wand maybe or his treads, but. For now, just seeing it this mid lane, FY backing up the Terra Blade, and that's the thing, Omni Knight's not, they're not going to sit any heroes behind the Enigma, like, that's the hero they're, they're kind of like, okay, if he gets ganked, he gets ganked, but Terra Blade, they're going to put a lot of effort into protecting. Yeah, the Storm of Silar is farming exceptionally well, but not too far behind are the next three heroes in Vichy Gaming, so, overall, when it comes to farm, it's dead even on net worth, experience going heavily in favor of the Dire, mostly the Enigma at play. Yeah. 26 denies. That's ridiculous. That's nice, nice. Pulling a, pulling a dendy as far as how much he's prior prioritizing the denies here. Yeah, it helps to be the Enigma. Does it count the creep denies when you uh, convert them now? It does, yeah. I think it used to not, or yep. maybe I'm wrong. No, I think you're right on that. I'm not sure when it was changed, but I remember at one point it didn't count them. I mean, obviously they still count it in-game, but just not on yeah. the, the Maybe even the being map. Dota. I, know, I think it was maybe even Dota 1 where it didn't count them. Okay. I don't, I don't know if Dota 2 for sure. I saw someone ask you about it for Lich denies the other day, and I honestly didn't know if... Yeah. I, I've just never never really looking at the stats when that happens, but either way, Vici Gaming looking for a setup here, bottom lane. Can they take down this Doom? I think also just intent on pressuring the tower. There's a max, TP on the storm. Enemy. This could be dangerous if they overcommit. Black Hole is not available. No mana for it. Yeah, they won't die, though. Yeah. They, this is so risky when there's TPs available. Top lane, they've gone in for a kill. Super going to get chained down there. That, you wanted That's Silo to rotate? Well, he wrote up D does rotate, but it's top lane. Yep. Instead of bottom. So I guess that's the better kill. It's oh. avoid the supports. Find the heroes who are farming alone. If it's Enigma who's alone bottom, you go on him. If it's the Ember alone top, you go on him. And so far, so good for Silent. It gives Faith a bit of XP. He's got a DD lane. rune, but no mana. Yeah, a bit low. Ooh, they did dive the Doom, and July goes down the bottom lane. And this, this is a T1 tower going down. Did they get the trade? LGD not running the core Naga. Don't really push that hard. That's one of the weaknesses of their draft. So I think it's something Vichy Gaming can exploit. Maybe give up a few extra kills, but make up for it in Tower Gold. Is super. He's really trying to get his level 6. Is Flame Guard going to wear off soon? And that's right when these supports wrap around. They're going to dive the tower. They don't get the initial stun, though. Never mind. They got it back. Yeah. If they had managed to stun him before he gets behind the tree line, they would go for it. I'd say Sice should go buy a TP now and just be ready to respond to this. Yeah, he gets treads, gets a TP. He has a TP black hole available. So any kind of dive up top lane is gonna <laughs> probably not end too well for LGD. Yeah, just wants to tank up a bit. He knows he's up against a lot of burst damage. And... If they commit the Doom, they st still will be able to kill him, but he might be able to live through like two of their stuns. That arrow, maybe Fire Blast follow up, but not sure it'll be enough on its own. As Black gets caught out here by Faith, are they going to zip in with the storm? Nope. Just harassment. Black does not have a point in reflection, or he would be able to get this kill. Might even try to run him down. No, not going to happen. Without that extra Metamorph's move speed nowadays, it's so much harder to get kills on Terra Blade. Arrow went flying top lane. It looks like that one was slightly off the mark. As uh, LGD have just the Cormoran is something which is just it's so risky here. Doom gonna ooh, look for a Doom on bottom lane. Not actually, we'll get it off in the end here. Storm zips in as well, and it's punishing Ice Ice Ice, who's really aggressively pushing out this bottom but lane. But at the same time, smoke gank at the top. Yeah. I, I think Ice Ice Ice's play is fine. He's creating so much space and space to find kills like this. Naga Siren should go down and possibly more. Super just needs a Searing Chain, he's got the face. Oh, he gets the two! What a play from Super, but it's I not a very long-duration yeah. Searing Chain. Almost 
could have maybe thought about diving Mor Morano's phase boot, so actually the movement speed would have been ample enough to get away. All right, we'll see a Doom Midas. I definitely think LGD need a fat Doom this game. They, the two yeah. key heroes to get fat are the Doom and the Storm. Especially the Doom, I would say. Defense on the top lane now going to kind of come out as Faith TP's back up to the tier 2 and What's this Enigma off to? He's actually going to join up with the push up top. So he's picked up a headdress. We'll be making his way towards the mech for the team. Siler so going to snag that haste rune in the meantime. Trot back towards mid. And it's LGD's turn to smoke gods. So they're going to move Yao and Faith over towards your Terror Blade for Black. You might get caught out here. TP status on FY. He has one, but if Black's too far away from the tower, it won't matter. And now they get eyes on him walking into the jungle, but it's. Just tough for Siler to find his way in here. So they're going to converge on top instead. Black Hole is ready. Doom is still down for 20. They look for an arrow to start this off. It connects on FY, but there's a heal available. There is a repel as well. They can't really go on this. Now the Black Hole insta cancel by Silar, or actually by the song, and then by Silar with the pull in. They'll bring down Ice 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 here. Perhaps one more auto attack does the trick, but Super goes hard in the paint, driving Silar back. And they will find some counter kills. Even Black joining the fight early. No mana for a Doom. Could pop the Magic Stick, but... That Omni, just just the single heal and repel just does so much work. Yeah, at the same time, he used the heal on the the Skywrath, which meant the Enigma didn't really have much as far as protection went when he was black holing. So he, he goes down for the Naga support for an offlaner. Although VG Gaming do get the space to get the T1 down. They won in July here. Super jiving in. He has Flame Guard, but he doesn't have a point in Slate of Fist yet. Yeah, only level 7. Generally, you won't see it until 8 at the very earliest, but... Can't really kill. They, they could chip at the tier 2. Metamorph Doom doesn't have up. mana. He needs to go. Well, I actually his stick charges, but yeah, yeah he'll pop them out. He has Doom okay. on almost Scorched Earth. Let's see if they were paying attention. They're going to repel Super. He'll charge forward once again. Do they look for the Doom on him? They will. Super gets pulled back in. Yeah, nice I, repel, bro. <laughs> I don't know why he was so far ahead. I guess maybe thinking purification behind him. And FY going to get jumped out. Storm he bought back. Oh, he had the fire room still here as well, so he's right in this fight. That's why they were happy to maybe bait him out. He's looking for Silent. He'll find him with the fire remnant. The wall in Viz. What a play by Super. Well placed. That's so crucial. And with Doom down, yeah, there's no black hole, but you've got Enigma. You're going to be able to push in with this uh, this Terror Blade. And as mentioned, LGD. It's a backstab too from the Enigma. They don't have much deep push. Ice 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 might get caught out here, though. He's going to walk into Faith. Level 5 on that Ogre. Get out, Ice Ice Ice. This is not where you want to be. Oh, they're waiting for him. But they can bring in reinforcements. FY's ready. Purification is there. They'll bring in Super as well. LGD just getting a bit out of position here against Super. They'll find MMY. Naga going to split out of that one, though. And it looks okay. like they might. things might calm down. They might. Or oh. maybe not. <laughs> Until that ensnare comes out on Super, and he's completely that's out of line. That's going to be a dieback. Yeah. That's a dieback. Oh, that's, they that's might lose FY, too. FY going to repel TP. Physical damage. Is it going to be enough? It's going to be ooh, not that close. Silo just zipping around too much. Should have just been right clicking. They also have Ensnare, so you can you can still yeah. get Ensnared there. If it's on cool. It was on cooldown that time, but something to keep an eye on. This game is still very much in the balance, it feels like. VG Gaming applying a bit more pressure with their more push-oriented lineup, but Storm still kind of itemless. Hasn't finished his first item. Doom is going to be going for a BKB, so the two big carries of LGD still need... I would say like another three to four minutes before they have that first big kind of uh, high impact item. I think if Vici had done that with their mech, that would have been really devastating. But Ice 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 didn't have it yet. He has the buckler recipe and the chainmail. He does need the, the overall mech recipe, which he's 300 gold short on. So I feel if you're Vici, you really got to prioritize. Just get your mech and then you can look for some fights. Because you, you imagine the mech, the Omni Knight heal as well as ult. That's extremely scary. They're going to try to pull a bit of a Cloud9 here. Going on to Silar. Going for the early Roche sneak. But. Yeah, they're pinging it still. They want to go in. Ice 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 doesn't have. Oh, we'll have conversions this coming is down. This before the mech, though. I'm, I really think you want that for this. Convert. There we go. He's gonna have. And there's a song online. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure about this. Guys. They will have Black Hole. If LGD know exactly what's going on. Problem is, Marana is kind of stuck at top lane, just trying to pressure that lane, and fighting into a DD Metamorph Terrorblade is scary. It is. Yeah, maybe with the but DD. Doable. They have song though. There's no way to prevent this song Roche steal. If they let it get too low, they're going to go in now with their song. Can they focus down Ice Ice Ice? They check out the Roche HP status, and then they're like, uh, do we want to go? I don't know. Silar's going to get silenced in the meantime. Ice 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 instant cancel on that black hole, but does it even matter? Maybe they don't need his mech. Maybe they don't need anything from Ice 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 at all, except the tactical bait. They yeah. doomed FY. He's fine. 
and they're going to take this rush down anyway. They didn't kill anyone instantly. They, they could see kind of exactly how that fight was going to pan out. They had all the information they needed during the Song of the Siren. But That was also a misplay from LGD because they song, but then Silar was off to the left, and he didn't yeah. stay with his team, so the song was still going, but it didn't affect the Skyrath anymore. Then he silences him and just blows yeah, him up. He, so he, died he either should have ran on. with the team or gone on someone immediately. Was it was awkward. Yeah. Awkward. Now, now they're going to make their way down bottom lane with Aegis in hand. On their Terra Blade, 3k gold for Black, so he seems to be saving up for that Radiance build in. Beachy Gaming. That reverse all kill hype. It's still very even. 2,500 gold lead. 2,000 experience lead, but Silar hasn't gotten out of control in the storm yet. He's not farming that quickly. Three, really, three, two, two. That's record. Once more. <laughs> Come on, Dota. It's, this is exactly where we were in game one. <laughs> he was zero two, and then he was three. I just wanted. I just want to list his record, and now I just. It happened to me. Oh I, it was God. an innocent mistake. Chat, please, mercy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't even need to read chat to know what they're all saying now, but. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, he is he's not snowballing is the point. The Doom is gone Midas, but isn't totally out of control yet. And the Ember's doing well. The Terra Blade's farming well. They're gonna go in mid now. All right. But that repel, man. Yeah. Super. I still swear a bit about the Doom as uh, we'll look for a steering chain. No chain. Second. Catches out too. That's both support. <laughs> One got blown up. Super gets duped, but he can stay alive. Purification in a couple of seconds. Guiding Angel just to be on that the safe side. That doesn't actually heal anymore. Yeah. Silo gonna zip I don't know if that flies read those patch notes. But. He was just worried about the physical damage, maybe. From the doom that's running away from you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's not the. It's not a hugely important ultimate to be honest. This stage of the game, but either way, they're gonna push in. They've got the mech online now. That's the big thing, and this is. I mean, you've got a Marana off split pushing. Like, that is not a scary at all for Vici Gaming. Like, Yao is 1 0 and 4, which he's, he's got a strong score in that stuff, but he feels like he's more like a support Marana with his impact just being arrows here or there. Like, he's not. He doesn't feel to me like he's a core Marana at this point. That could change maybe as he progresses throughout this game, but right now, not convinced by the, the choice of running Marana as a core. Are they the trying line. high grounds? Black does have Aegis. He's got no items, really, though. Yeah. They're going to go for it anyway. Chains is there. Mystic Flare onto Angelai. Vici Gaming really pressing forward. Now Ice 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 will get caught out, but the heal from FY keeps him in fighting shape. Super zip there. Zap there. Down you go. Back to the well for the Doom, and they'll mech. They'll continue wow. this push. I don't know if they want to stick around too much longer. Metamorphosis is wearing off soon. They do have these heals. Permanent fountain trips from FY. He's gonna heal up. I, I think you back now. You've gotten your doom kill. Enough damage. That's down. gonna be up soon. Yep. And you still don't have any items on Terra Blade. Like they have plenty of time yep. to chill and oh. and grow. They've got the entire map to farm. Like top lane's pushed out pretty far. They've got their jungle. They've got the LGD jungle. They can go farm bottom lane. Black's just picked up a Yasha, so it looks like he's not gonna be going for. Uh, the Radiance build, and the, the position they're in where they're just pushing and really pressuring the high ground, I think it's better to go for this more early game oriented build, like a Manta Scardi, rather than try play for the ultra late game with a Radiance. The other thing is that, I mean, Manta Scardi is still a pretty freaking late game build, too. Oh, you yeah. farm really fast with that. There's no problem. It's, it's, it's more of, definitely more of a combat build than the Radiance, so that's for sure. Super mid, jeez, gotta be careful. Taking <laughs> a lot of right click harass. He, he's like, heal me? Heal me? Thank you. <laughs> Took your sweet old time, FY. But just just wanted to make sure he didn't get caught out. Relax, super. No reason to rage. So it's a tier one, and an Ice 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 going for the pipe on top of the mech definitely suggests that Vici Gaming want to try and get a set of racks and basically break down LGD's defense as soon as possible. I don't know if LGD can win this by farming, to be honest. Yeah, they've got the Doom, but he's gone back for an Ogre Club. He's not really that out of control. Storm's. Still no Orchid. He's close though. I, I think they gotta gank their way back into this gods. It's kind of how their lineup works as yep. well. And smoke gets revealed from the high ground. That was black. <laughs> he walked down into him anyway. <laughs> He's like, what have I run into? Alright. Trouble. No Doom being used and that's probably partly because Vici Gaming had far superior numbers there. Omni Knight was a bit far away so maybe could have found some Doom kills but they decide to play it safe. And hey, Black Squid is Manta style. He hasn't even brought it out just yet so... It's just not a good position when a team with the Terror Blade and Ember is pushing towards your high ground at sub-20 minutes. Ice 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 went for a black hole kill on the Storm. Narrowly missed solo killing Scylla. So that's a three minute cooldown now on this black hole. It's yeah, I, it definitely sucks. 
It's uh, worth, worth the try there. If you get the kill, it's a big pick off to be fine. He also didn't know Silo had finished his Orchid. He thought Silo was maybe still trying to farm it up. Yeah, just picks that up now. And with Aegis expiring and the Orchid picked up and the Black Horn cooldown, this should be a time for LGD to look for something. Yeah. But I kind of still ask that question of like, song into what? Or I guess they can just hold the song defensively, but. Look yeah, at Ice 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 Gods. He's almost got a pipe. He's so, so far. He just needs the pipe recipe. Oh my goodness. That is a big issue for LGD. They're like yeah. all magic damage. I don't think LGD can really defend this out of town, but they may give it a try. Changes there from Super. Constantly has that repel on him. And with no blink on your Doom, FY can just sit back and have his way with LGD's initiation attempts. Silo's like gonna try to worm his way through the trees, but Silo. Fenrir was quicker. Instant Mystic Flare. Song too late. The Repel helping secure that kill as and well. And they're going to look for more now. He's going over the top, zapping in again. Super gets the chains off, cancels that cast animation of Faith, and they heal, and they chase for more. Boy, they'd love a black hole now, but that's okay. They'll get the kill anyway. It's enough. Two down, and I don't know if you go... Well, Song is on cooldown. Black hole is also on cooldown. I don't think you go do high some damage. Yet. They can chip. I don't think they'll get the full tier three. Maybe, maybe they can, but... The, actually, the pipe is coming. Yeah. With the pipe gods, I think they can do this. They can safely, like, siege this high ground. So Holy. if they get forced back, they get forced back. But there's no reason not to try to use them anymore. Where was this Beachy oh, Gaming in games one and two? They're just making it look easy. Wrecking LGD. That's your first lane of wrecks. Caving in the base in shambles now as Terror God already emerges. Black with that early farm, putting it to work. They doom super, but to what end? There's a pipe here to protect him. He's basically, Silar's he's silence. going in while doomed and auto-attacking. Silar silence. Silar can't do a thing. He'll zip up to the high ground, already melee Rex down. They did this without the black hole and without an Aegis. And they just don't really give two hoots. I don't even think they'll back. He's got melee Rex and they're not backing. Silas gonna be careful. They're gonna go for MMY instead. And well, Faith, he's got no way out. Super. Maybe with an arrow, nope, not going to hit him. He gets out of there just narrowly, and well, there's your range rack. Is this the reverse all kill? The hype is real for Vici Gaming. Wow. They're going to get mid, too. They'd be the second team in three Summit playoffs to pull out a reverse all kill in your grand finals. Joining first departure, LGD on their last legs, just fighting to stay in this game number five as Super continues to show no mercy. The onslaught is very real here. There's no Doom, there's no Song, they've got nothing for this fight. There's also a mech and pipe on the Beachy Gaming side in a couple of seconds. Guardian Angel comes out, so much sustain. You just can't fight into this, you can't find kills if you're LGD. And you really don't need to chase oh, Beachy dear. Gaming, not making the same mistakes that we saw LGD make in that, that game number four that may come back to haunt them. Now they mech, they look to turn this, going back in on your melee racks, and GG, Beachy Gaming. Make oh, it a reverse golly. all kill. Congratulations to them. They're coming to Los Angeles. There's a bit of a deja vu from the SCA finals where one team was ahead by two games, also had a game where they should have won, could have won, and they just couldn't go get it across the finish line. And Vici Gaming, well, they remain calm. They but they sure took their sweet old time deciding to show up for this grand final, yeah. I gotta say. This game here was definitely the, the best Vici Gaming performance. Game three, they won fairly one-sided, but I think it was more a draft. This game, just complete outplay. Bit of a choke from LGD, to be honest, because you go back to that like Visage game, they had it. They really had yeah. it. Like like you said, I, I think maybe even more than nine times out of ten they win oh, that. But. That was, that was uh, Sila li Lycan as well. Like I was not expecting them to lose that game when they got such a big lead. But So we'll get some hot chocolate at the summit. Ice yeah. Ice Ice going to show us his customary brew, and uh, Black will be coming as well. Oh, That's a fresh a face. Guy. The rest of Vici Gaming we did see last time, yep. FY Super and Fenrir. They're no strangers. They got third place last time at the land finals. I'll be looking to do one or two better. I think time. they barely lost to EG as well. Yeah. They almost finished. Second. Everyone forgets that. Like everyone remembers all EG DK five game grand finals, but Vici Gaming they yeah lost two one to EG in the low bracket finals. They put up a really good fight. So, well, gods, we've got one region left in the redemption vote. That's it. The summit two online stage it winds towards its close. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. We've got just the America playoffs. Those start in, I think, three days' time. We'll have Complexity, Not Today, and Leviathans, and Navi USA competing for the last it's qualifier spot. I know Coddle Guy, of course, is, is our resident uh, North yeah. American Dota lover, is very excited for it, but I am too. I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Not Today. I think it'd be a great storyline. Have the first ever South American team at a, a major yeah. tournament. I think it would be, but having I was I met the Complexity guys the other night and yeah. they're they've been training so hard. They're all in the team house in LA. Okay. They're like they they've made goals. Like one it was like by the end of this year they want to qualify for either Dream League or the Summit. 
They want to go boot camp in Europe next year as well as China. Like, these guys are a serious effort to make it to a TI and make it to big events. So, having met them, I'm a little biased and say it'd be cool to get complexity here, but getting a team from South America, that that's a storyline. Of course, itself. Navi US is always fun. We get to see uh, Ash Rising Star oh, in the yeah. North American seed. So, whoever ends up making it, it should be a blast from North America, but uh, I guess this is fair time to remind everyone there is the redemption vote. That's how we'll be deciding the final team for the Summit 2, guys. So, if you already bought a ticket, you already bought a compendium, or you even already voted, be sure to vote or be sure to update your vote if you have, because um, as God's is going to show you, uh, teams that have already qualified, we just ignore those votes. There's the way that Valve provides the data to us, there's no way for us to see individual voting records. So if you put like Vici Gaming first, Secret second, we just ignore those votes. We, yeah. can't, we can't just make your third place vote your first vote. So you need to update them uh, as those that top slot, highest priority, counts the most for deciding who comes to the land yeah. finals. And I think this section will be extended because America doesn't end for some time. So because people may need to adjust their votes after the America playoffs, we'll probably it ends. It ends like 18 hours after America okay. playoffs ends. So yeah, we you may give it a little more time. I yeah, know. it's I open to a bit. <laughs> so with that said, guys, uh, be sure to put in your votes already. If you don't have a compendium uh, and but you want to vote, you can either buy the bundle from the store or you can buy the ticket, which is a bit cheaper from the marketplace, but. Uh, of course, that does not add to the prize pool. So if you want to support the players, recommend going through the store. But either way, that'll be our final team. Yep. So we're Big pretty much ready for the land finals at this point, man. We're close. It's been a lot of fun. Big thanks, everyone, for tuning in and supporting us. Our prize pool now up near $285,000. Still growing. Thanks, everyone, support. If you want to keep on supporting us, follow myself at BTS Gods. Follow LD, my co-caster, at LD Dota. And also tune into the Summit America playoffs in three days' time. We're done for tonight. We'll see you all then.